everyone. This is a video tutorial for how to determine in a redox reaction what has been reduced, what has been oxidized, what the reducing agent is, and what the oxidizing agent is. We're going to do this by using oxidation numbers. If you are unfamiliar with the rules for oxidation numbers, you can go to the post entitled Solution Chemistry Information. Using those rules, we're going to assign each one of these elements an oxidation number. Based on the rules, there's no specific number assigned for silicone, so we're going to call it X. We have four chlorines, and each one is assigned an oxidation of negative one. When you add those oxidation numbers together, they have to equal the overall charge on the compound. This compound is neutral. It has no charge, so they would have to equal zero. You solve for X and you get a value of four. So silicone is a plus four oxidation number and chlorine is a minus one. Looking at magnesium, it is just an atom or an element on its own. That means it is assigned an oxidation number of zero. Further down, we see magnesium again. We don't have a specific rule for it. We have two chlorines, each with a negative one. The compound, once again, is neutral, so they would have to sum to zero. You solve for X and you get plus two. So magnesium is plus two and chlorine is minus one. Lastly, because silicone is just an element by itself, it has an oxidation number of zero. Now what we want to do is look at the elements and see how their oxidation number changed. So silicone started at a plus four and it went to zero. Chlorine started at negative one and it went to negative one. And lastly, magnesium started at zero and it went to plus two. We now want to see how these numbers have changed. So if we look at silicone, it got less positive. We went from plus four to zero. Chlorine, nothing happened to it, so we're really not concerned with that compound at all. Magnesium went from zero to plus two, so it got more positive. Let's refer to the central theme of redox, oil rig. Oxidation is loss meaning you're losing electrons. If you lose electrons, you're gonna get more positive, and here we've determined which one that happened to. So we would say that this substance was oxidized. And the silicone got less positive, which attaches to reduction. So this substance here was reduced. When you actually name the substance that was oxidized or reduced on an exam, you're going to say that it was on the reactant side, and it's gonna be whatever reactant contains the specific element we're looking at. So when, you, when you're asked what is reduced, you would say the SiCl4 compound, and when you're asked what is oxidized, you would say the magnesium. The last idea we have is that of the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent. So this here, the thing that is reduced, that is the same as the oxidizing agent. So they have this reverse relationship, exactly the opposite. This is oxidized, so it would be the reducing agent. And that is how you would use oxidation numbers to determine what is going on in a redox reaction.